Korea. The presumptive U.S. Republican presidential nominee has been getting good press this week in North Korea's carefully controlled media, first in an opinion piece that praised him as wise and full of foresight and then on Wednesday in the official mouthpiece of the ruling Workers' Party itself. Both articles noted how his suggestions he would be willing to meet leader Kim Jong-un and wants to rethink and possibly withdraw U.S. troops from South Korea have created a Trump shock in Seoul. The state-run DPRK Today in Pyongyang started off the Trump praise on Tuesday by juxtaposing the wise Trump with what it called a dull Hillary describing the leading Democratic Party candidate only by her first name. In the lengthy column, Trump is described as a wise politician and presidential candidate with foresight for his comments about the U.S. potentially withdrawing its troops from South Korea if Seoul doesn't bear the costs. It also noted his public willingness to directly talk with the North Korean leadership if he becomes president. Clinton, the column said, is dull for promising to pursue an Iran-type model to solve nuclear issues with the North. Trump told the New York Times in March that South Korea and Japan should pay much more for the U.S. troops based in their countries about 28,000 in South Korea and around 50,000 in Japan. In a more recent interview with the Reuters news agency, Trump said he was willing to meet with Kim. I would speak to him, I would have no problem speaking to him, he said. The removal of U.S. troops from the Korean Peninsula and direct talks with the U.S. president dovetail nicely with objectives Pyongyang has held for years though undoubtedly for different reasons than the American real estate magnate. The North wants the U.S. troops to leave because it sees them as a direct threat to the regime's security and has long wanted talks with Washington ostensibly toward a peace treaty to end the 1950-53 Korean War, that would boost its international status and acknowledge that North Korea is a nuclear state. There are many positive aspects to take away from Trump's inflammatory campaign promises, the writer says in the DPRK Today column, pointing out Trump's indications that Seoul should pay 100% of the cost for the American troops stationed in the South and, if not, Washington should pull them out. Yes, go away, now, it says. Who knew that the Yankee go home slogan we shouted so enthusiastically could come true so easily like this? The day that the Yankee go home slogan becomes reality would be the day of unification. The Korean War that solidified the division of North and South Korea ended in an armistice, not a full peace treaty. The DPRK Today website is considered to be a propaganda outlet aimed at readers outside the North, though its position within the government is not clear. While not as colorful or overtly supportive as the DP,